Have you ever wanted to detect a doji star on your expert advisor, but no idea how to do it? Well, in this episode, I'm gonna give you the code to do exactly that. Check it out. There's a few things you need in order to be able to complete this episode. First, you need to have some level of expert advisor already up and running. That should include the init, dnit, and onTick functions at the very least. With that, we'll be able to po paste all of the code that you're building straight into it and check it out as it's working. If you're interested, you can check out my previous episodes on this channel uh, where I've been showing people how to build an RSI algorithm. That'll really give you a leg up. Secondly, it's really helpful to have a MetaTrader 5 terminal up and running so that you can test your expert advisor the moment that it's completed. Let's go ahead and check it out. Here's how we implement the Doji Star Detector. The first thing we're going to do is over here, we're going to add in our function. Okay, and we're going to add in our Doji Star Detector. Okay, and this is going to be a Boolean return. So it's going to return a true if it finds a doji star and false if it doesn't. Okay, now a doji star, in case you haven't come across it, is simply a candlestick that has open and close that are very close to each other and longer wicks. You can see an example of it popping up. Uh, on the screen now. So what we need to do to calculate this is simply get those values and compare them with each other. And then we can go from there. So let's do that. So we're going to start by getting the open price. And we'll be doing that using a built-in library straight from MetaTrader, which is just called iOpen. Okay. Do the same for the close. Thank you, GitHub Copilot, once again, filling in that code for me. Get the high price, get the low price. So far, so good. Now we're gonna calculate the body size, okay, which is gonna be the absolute value of the close minus the open. What that means is that regardless of whether it's a bullish or a bearish candle, it's still gonna give us a result, okay. Now here's where it gets a little bit complex, particularly if you're trading the one minute candlestick, which is very, very quick. A lot of the times you're actually gonna have a, an open and close that is zero. Um, that's not as common for the daily candles and the hourly ones. It can still happen, but it's not super common. So that means we need to do a little bit of interesting stuff around understanding how it works. So here's how we go about doing that. First of all, we're gonna set up some conditions. All right, first of all, we're gonna look at a Boolean. Is the body small? And that's gonna be by default into to, to false. Okay, then we're gonna say bull is upper shadow small. That's gonna be false. Is lower shadow small? And I'm just looking over here at my notes. Is legs. false okay and then we need to get the point size so get the point size yeah, so double one point is equal to one times underscore awesome okay let's first of all go ahead and calculate our upper shadow size so the upper shadow size refers to the high going down to whatever is the highest of the open or the close. So that's the upper shadow size and the lower shadow size is pretty much the exact opposite. So here's how we calculate it. Get the upper shadow size. And the lower can, lower shadow is pretty much the opposite. So that's from the lowest price to the open or the close. Okay, now, if the body size is zero, we want to do something slightly different with our calculations. So here's how we're gonna do that. And I'll just 
add in here our body size calculation. Sorry, we've already got that. So if the body size is zero, yes, our body size is true. But we want what we want to do here is check our upper or ladder, lower shadow. So if the upper or lower shadows are zero points, then it's not a doji. So we're going to return false. What that means is that if all of the prices are the same, so the open, high, low and close are all zero, that's not a doji at all, that's just a nothing happened. Okay. Then we need a few different conditions. Again, this is really to cover off what happens in the one minute candle. I had that for a client once and so I worked all of these out. So less than one point in the lower shadow is one point. Return false. Just update my comments good for future reference. Okay, so it's going to return false. Okay. If the upper shadow is one point and the lower shadow is one is less than one point, that's also false. Okay, but if both of the shadows are one point, then it's true. So far, so good. Next, we want to cover off what happens if it's two points instead of one. So here we're going to do something similar. So we're going to say, if the upper shadow is two and the lower shadow is one, that's a doji. If the upper shadow is one and the lower shadow is two, that's a doji. If they're both two, that's a doji. Everything else is false. Okay, now you might disagree with these calculations and that's totally fine. You can absolutely update this code, to work with whatever you want. So if the upper shadow is two points and the lower shadow is two points return true okay if the upper shadow is two points and the lower shadow is one point return true do the same thing for the lower one And then we're going to do exactly the same thing for three points. Now, after three points, we're going to say, um, this is still talking about a zero body. After three points, we're going to say, after that, it becomes a long legged doji or it becomes not a doji at all. So we're just going to cover off the three points options. So that's going to cover off all of our little ones. Now we're going to get into a more classic doji, okay, which is significantly easier to do. Okay, uh, if we go to zero body size, sorry. Okay, so what we're going to do here is the body must be less than 5% of the total range. Also need the upper and lower shadows to 
be at least 40% of the total range. Finally, we want there to be no more than 10% difference. 10% difference between the upper and lower shadows. Okay. If all of those conditions pass, then we want to know that it's passed. So we say otherwise, return true. Awesome. So we've, what we've covered off on here is our body size being zero. How are we going to calculate that? Okay, and if the body size is not zero, then we can cover off on these ones here. Finally, we just need a default condition. And the only way it can really get to here is if it's true. So we're going to say return true by default. Now, all of this code you can find on my GitHub, uh, and the link to that is uh, in the description. So. Let's give this a compile and make sure that it's all working. That worked perfectly. Now what we could do if we wanted to is every time we get this tick, okay, we could go in and double check if we have a doji. So let's do that. Right, let's compile this again. And if we go back to our MetaTrader, we'll get rid of our strategy tester for now. So we'll go here, get rid of our strategy tester, close this, and go to our experts tab. Okay, as soon as we get a tick, we'll see if we have a doji detected. Let's add in this. As soon as we get a tick, we'll see if we're going to get a doji. So no doji star. So there we go so far. All right. In the next episode, I'm going to show you how to add the long-legged doji. And then in future episodes, I'm going to show you how to add the gravestone and dragonfly dojis to our trading bot. And then from there, we'll be able to start integrating this into our algorithm. So check it out.